In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head of a live online game of Madden, showing you what I do and why I do it, and hopefully you can learn from some of the things that I do right, as well as some of the things that I do wrong in this game of Madden 21. Now, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, my name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My channel is all about Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, so if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I upload videos every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, uh, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right on my YouTube channel. I also live stream every single night uh, with Madden 21 content at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. All right, so coming out, we got the new Sean Taylor today, and we are kind of, um, you know, just kind of getting our feet wet, seeing how he plays. Uh, but the other thing that I want to do is kind of – try out this new defense i've been running out as a it's not really a new way to run it's new defense but it's a new way to run the nickel 335 so if you're interested in my nickel 335 defensive ebook you can pick that up at the link in the description of this video now uh one of the things that this guy is going to do looks like early on is he's going to go ahead and go for it so we're just going to send some pressure up to see and sean taylor is not able to break on that ball unfortunately uh, as we do have that new sean taylor that just came out today we got the Deion sanders as well um, so just kind of seeing how they're how these new cards are playing, but um, really what we're going to try to do here in the beginning, he he's obviously shown a desire to run the ball a little bit. So we're kind of coming down in that nickel three three five wide. What I love about the four six is that it gets the best personnel uh, possible on the field at one time. Now uh, I'm going to go with a little bit more because he's shown interest in throwing over the middle of the field. I'm going to go with a little bit more middle field coverage. And there you see there. Uh, and in my opinion, this is the best way, the best abilities for defense, at least in my opinion, especially if you're running the nickel three, three, five normal defense that I'm running. Um, and then kind of shifting into the, uh, the other uh, nickel defense at the right time is to use these double or nothings. I got double or nothing on every single one of my linemen. And then the next thing that I have is that I'm going to be running um, – everybody else has Acrobat. The only player that doesn't have Acrobat is my user. Okay, Every other player that I'm going to be dropping when I drop eight, they're all Acrobats uh, with the exception of my user, obviously. So um, they're going to be able to jump things. They're going to be able to kind of get in the passing lanes uh, at a pretty high level. Okay, Now, uh, right here, fourth and long, I actually feel very confident with this little five um, – or not five, little three-man rush here. I feel like I get really good sheds with these double or nothings, as you can see. And Sean Taylor going to get a nice pick to start his career off with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, now, on offense, I'm running my New England Patriots offensive playbook. And I'm actually going to be running a different formation than I normally run. Uh, normally, if, I, if you've seen me run this offense before, you've seen me run a lot of trips tied in, a lot of U-trips, uh, and a lot of stuff like that. Uh, today, what you're going to see is you're going to see me run uh, some more of what I would say the Peyton Manning offense, right? We're going to run a lot of levels. We're going to run kind of this, and we're actually releasing some of these uh, route combos throughout uh, our channel over the course of the next couple of days as well if you want to keep uh, keep an eye out for them. Now, I do have that new Deion Sanders card. He's by far the best wide receiver in the game. It's not even close. Um, and then, obviously, I've got Chris Cooley, who, in my opinion, is the best tight end. And then I've got Tyreek Hill on the right and Lance Allworth. I feel like Lance Allworth probably, uh, at this point, is certainly a really, really good slot receiver. Uh, now, right there, I actually missed the read. He, I had the, the, the in route wide open, ended up missing that, but that's okay. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to establish levels um, and just try to establish this and see you know, how he's going to guard this, this – uh, this play, I absolutely love this play. So uh, here I got something going on with my joystick. I don't know. I'm not able to snap the ball. So we're going to have to call a timeout. Um, this controller is kind of aggravating. I don't know why I have these random problems with the joystick. But but anyways, uh, so what I'm trying to do here offensively is I'm just trying to um, work the ball up and down the field on this guy. Obviously, we got a big stop early on with that pick. Uh, honestly, I probably should have swatted the ball, but I just wanted the, you know, to get the pick with Sean Taylor. Uh, right out of the gate here but this levels concept right here i showed this today on the channel um and you'll see that i do love to run this play it's probably my favorite play to run um unfortunately Deion sanders is going to drop it here um which brings up a fourth down and long situation and i feel like we had a couple of couple of back-to-back -back drops so um just kind of being mindful of that um now what i'm going to do on this play right here is i'm actually going to go to dagger and part of the reason I'm going to go to this is because I'm going to try to hit that dig to Deion Sanders. If he's just going to play vanilla man-to-man -man coverage, he's playing robber coverage right over the middle. 
and we are able to hit that nice deep in route to Dion uh, for a first down. So now we got to get back on schedule here on offense and try to keep working the ball up and down the field on my opponent. Um, he's been running, a, he's kind of been mixing up his coverages, honestly, uh, a lot of different things here. But this is really what we're looking to hit. We're looking to hit that route to Dion as much as we possibly can. Uh, that's my favorite route in Madden 21, uh, just because I feel like it's just a simple yard gainer uh, against a lot of defenses. Man, he is getting some wicked sheds up at the middle of the field, too. Uh, with Warren Sapp. I absolutely hate people that play like this. Um, to be honest with you, I don't like people that use a rush. I feel like it's, but um, it's fine. We just have to adjust it and, and read it. Uh, I got to make sure to try to double team his user. I don't know if I can see that pre-snap, um, but basically what he's doing is he's just, you know, lining those defensive linemen up and he's going to blitz with them. And it seems like he's blitzing with, you see that, you see how he's going to blitz with that, um, that opposite side uh, guy, the guy that's um, wide. So hopefully my defensive, I don't know why my um, my offensive line adjustments for whatever reason aren't coming up. I don't know why Chris Cooley's just going in motion here. But I'm hitting L1 and I can't do anything, so that's awesome. So he's probably going to get another wicked shed. It looks like he's going to kind of bounce around on the, on the offensive line here. But we're going to stick with our simple um, concept. Now, I actually really like this dagger play with that backside curl flat. Uh, let's see if we can. Okay, so now it's going to let me do something here. So uh, we're going to double team this Warren Sapp. I feel like that's who he's on, but it might be on somebody else. Of course, he actually is. So we're just going to have to get the ball out of our hands quick. And, um, and good defense. And come up, and it's going to bring up a fourth and six. So we're going to go back to dagger. I uh, really like this concept now uh here we're going to try to double team him again now he's actually mixing i actually really like the way he's doing this uh with his defensive line adjustments here um and we got a roughing the passer kind of got bailed out there but in all honesty that's kind of what you get for doing that um so we're going to get back into the levels concept here and it looks like he's literally just cycling through his D lineman, but I really think his best chance at getting me is this um, outside guy here uh, with that outside D tackle. And we get him over the top. And Chris Cooley, I threw that probably a little bit too late. I feel like that should have been a touchdown, though. <sighs> Much more of a struggle than this drive should be, honestly, if he's going to sit in this cover, too. Yeah, there he runs him up. Perfect. And that's really what we're getting. We're getting that strain on those linebackers. And if the linebackers run with Cooley, then we know to look down to uh, Dion. If they don't run with Cooley, then we know to not uh, do that, obviously. Like right here, they're running with him, so we just take that little backside in route. And this play should allow you to you know, relatively easily work the ball up and down the field on your opponent. Very rarely are they going to be able to cover Cooley, and they're going to be able to cover Dion on this play like even right here they got the hard flat um and that's a product of you're seeing a lot of a, pro, a lot of product of his user rush um you know a lot of product of his user rush so uh when we get the ball in the next drive we're probably going to go to more of a four verticals approach uh just based on the way he's playing um and i actually really really like this route to cooley inside the red zone here uh, we're going to hit Tyreek Hill right across, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Now, if you guys want to get a sample formation of the New England offense, now obviously I'm just running one formation of it today, not running the whole thing. The whole thing has uh, content has content that is um, – we have over 300 pages of material in the ebook that cover pretty much everything you could possibly need to know. Uh, about offensive football uh, right here. We're just going to have to throw this away. But um, we, we pretty much cover everything in the ebook for you. Uh, we're going to play conservative here. I just feel like we're not going to need to we – we get ball at half, right? So I'm not too nervous about his offense, and um, I'm honestly not too nervous about his defense long term. So we're going to play the long game a little bit here. But the ebook has, like I said, over 300 pages of material, over 36 formations that are broken down in depth, um, over 10 hours of video content. So it's a beast of a guide. And we show you how to run different styles. I mean, there's different ways to run it. There's different strategies. Um, so all in all, I just think it's a really, really effective 
uh, ebook. If you guys want to pick it up, that link is in the description. But also, maybe you might be hesitant to pick up the ebook, and that should have been a pick. Um, maybe you might be hesitant to pick up the ebook. But what I want to tell you is, we've actually developed a free sample formation for you guys um, to be able to pick up that as well for free. So, literally, all you got to do to get that is just shoot me a text message and let me know that you want to pick that up. And that's what I'm talking about, not being too worried about his offense. Um, but just let me know if you want to pick that up. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description, but just shoot me a text. And I have a couple of different sample formations that we have out right now that I can send to you. Um, and they're only available via text. I don't have them posted on my YouTube channel or anything. The only way you can get those videos is by texting me. But we cover, I think so far we have three hours of sample content. All right, that's just sample content, nothing more than that. So... You want to get those videos i'd highly encourage you to shoot me a text and i'll shoot those your way now one of the things that's been really interesting about the way he's playing defense is he's kind of just shifting between a couple different coverages but really this seam is kind of tender and we're actually going to hit it right here that's what we we're looking for earlier uh when cooley wasn't able to get that catch that's what i'm talking about if he's going to sit in that cover two stock and leave that middle linebacker in the middle of the field and not put him in the deep blue um, we're going to be able to take that read pretty much over and over and over again. So back on defense now, and we actually got to be feeling pretty good about ourselves. Uh, he's thrown over the middle quite a bit. So we're going to go with cover four here. Throws right at my user. I need to hit triangle. That's one of the biggest things that I feel like I don't do a good job of. I feel like my user, I just don't like make enough plays with him. There we go. As I say that, I get my nice user pick. Pat Watkins, best user in the game, 6'5", 90 plus speed. I mean, the guy just jumps. He can make plays. It looks like this guy's going to go ahead and get out of here. But if you want to pick up the sample ebook, uh, just shoot me a text. I also have a ton of other stuff in that text message as well that I can shoot you. A lot of good stuff from our channel. Um, if you have any questions about Madden, shoot me a text as well. It is my cell phone number, 812 216 3644. That number is also in the description. We'll see you guys in our next video.